uh, video is to show you how to do the virtual locker assignment. So I'm going to go through each slide and show you what you're supposed to do. This uh, video was shown to you in uh, the weekly agenda, so if you already watched the video there, you don't have to watch this video again. Um, but I am putting it in the directions for those that didn't click it before. So when it says watch this video for directions, you need to hit present. If you don't hit present, you won't be able to click on the video because I've basically designed this so anything that I put on there uh, I don't that I don't want you to move, you can't move. So that goes along with the actual video too. So that's why you have to hit present in order to be able to push play. I'm making the video right now, that's why it's blank, but just FYI for when it's there, hit present, then click it. So the second slide shows you an example of what you're making. So you're making a virtual locker and then you're just adding a bunch of stuff uh, that represents you. Um, there's examples right here. You have to include at least 10 things or more. And um, this just gives you an idea. You can add pictures, you can add um, your favorite sports teams, uh, your favorite activities. Um, if you have a Bitmoji, you can add that. But this just gives you an example of what I'm looking for when it comes to this virtual locker. It's just a chance for me to get to know you kind of like visually and for you to show your creative side. So this is the example. The actual locker is going to be on slide three. And you don't have to worry about deleting anything because, again, I made it so you can't like mess with anything that I've put on there. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose 10 things, like I said the slide before. Um, here's some uh, like things to uh, choose from if you're, have, if you're unsure what to do. And then there's two ways to get your, um, your, pic your uh, pictures for this. You can either go to Google and just like type in what you want to type in, like I put book, and you can screenshot it. Or, or screenshot it, sorry, and then put it in to your locker. Just make it smaller and things like that. Or you can go up here to insert image and you can um, search from the web uh, and you can just put the picture in that way. You can also uh, screenshot pictures from your iPad and then make them smaller. That's why she has pictures of herself right here is because she screenshotted them from her phone and then she put them smaller onto the locker. So if you're having trouble with like how to put images in, just um, message me and I'll help you. But um, it should be fairly easy for, you know, you guys, you guys are generation, what, Z? So you guys are pretty techie. So we're going to go back, uh, go to the lap, yeah, sorry, the next slide. And the next slide is where you're going to complete page three in your student notebook. So if you guys remember, I said that every activity is going to have you complete a student notebook page. So I'm going to show you how to get to that student notebook page for this day. So you want to go into present because it says click here. But if I just click here, it doesn't actually show me anything. So I have to click present. Then I would click this and it would open up the student notebook in Google Classroom. Then I'm going to open up my notebook. I'm going to go down to slide uh, to page three. So it's going to be the one that says August 20th, 21st. And that asks, what did you include in your virtual locker and why? So you can just do a list here. Um, so you can like just put like one uh, picture of my family and then just tell me like why you pick that. And then you can do two, uh, you know, my favorite sports team, and this is why I put that. So you can do it in list form or you can do it in paragraph form. It doesn't matter. But this page three is a part of your, um, your assignment, so make sure that you do this. So after I finish this page, I'm not done yet. I'm going to have to go back to the virtual locker, and I'm going to exit out. And if you look on the last slide, it says, don't forget to mark this as done in Google Classroom. So after you're done with this, you're going to go back to the assignment and where it says turn in or mark is done, make sure you do that. Um, otherwise, I will not get it. And if I don't get it, I'm going to put a zero into power schools. So if you have any questions about how to do this assignment or you need extra help, um, just message me and remind. Um, other than that, um, that's it. Thank you.